Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is a little different, isn't it? But we get to see all your wonderful faces and just be together today as close as we can here with social distancing. Right? Yeah. Praise God. Hey, let's just give God a hand clap right there in your cars where you're at. Just give the Lord a hand clap. Yeah, honk your horn. If you love the Lord, honk your horn today. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's make some noise for the King. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are so excited you're here today. We are blessed that you're here with us and we thank you for coming out. We're not going to be here long. We're just going to take about an hour at the most so that you don't get too hot and overheated here. But man, this is awesome. An awesome opportunity to praise God and be with God and be with one another this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. If I haven't got to tell you personally, I'm telling you now. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. We are so thankful for you. And hey, the reality of it is, is if it wasn't for you, none of us would be here, right? So praise God we're here. Amen. Hallelujah. So we give God honor and praise. Let's go before the Lord in prayer this morning. And then we're going to enter into some praise and worship. These guys have been out here practicing for about an hour. And man, they sound wonderful. They're, I'm just excited about what God is doing in our praise and worship. Amen. I do, I do want to tell you in the beginning here, next week we will be having normal service here inside and we will uh we will yeah we will be having social distancing and 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 sanitation and 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 the stuff you squirt on your fingers and wipe it around so you don't get germs around you know all that stuff so uh but we're gonna have a great time in the lord so i want you just to pass the word along to everybody in the body that you talk to tell them that uh that uh, we're going to be having service next week right here at 10.30 a.m. And uh, we'll, we will not be opening up the doors until 10 a.m. though. So don't come real early. Uh, just come right before service and we will be able to worship the Lord together. Amen. So excited we're back together. Let's go to the Lord in prayer today. Father, we worship you this morning. We're thankful for you, Lord God. We give you honor and praise this morning, Father. We thank you that we can come together and worship you and to declare your holiness and your praises together as a body and as, as the believers we come together in you today, Lord God. We thank you for each and every one that is here. I ask you just to minister, minister a, a special word, a special heart, minister to their hearts in a special way today, God. I thank you, Lord God, that you touch us all. And as we're here in the open sun, Lord God, and with the open, beautiful sky today, God, we give you honor and praise and we lift our hands to you and we declare your praises today. We worship your holy name in the name of Jesus. Amen.
say this really briefly. This next song is a really, it's new. It's called The Blessing. <clears throat> if you want to look it up on your phone and see the lyrics. Um, this song is very, very special to our hearts because it's so fitting for this day because the mothers, the mothers play a huge purpose in children like me and Lauren to be up here today. My mom plays such a huge role. And this song is talking about generation, just generational blessings over your families and their children and their children. And asking the Lord's peace be upon you. So many rough things have been happening in this season. And stuff, some stuff we just can't explain. But this song, it may, may minister to you. It's speaking blessings and peace over you. It's so important. And this, yes, this is a Mother's Day and it's for the mothers. But for anyone, may his blessing be upon you. Amen.
But I'm 
this morning. I'm just spe- feeling, um, don't go too far, Joshua. We're going to get back into this thing. I'm just feeling the spirit of God this morning. Man, it's so good to be back together again. Oh man, have I longed for this day. Amen. It is so good to be back together today. 
I love each and every one of you. We love each and every one of you, and I know you love us, and we're so grateful that you've come today. Hallelujah. So we just want to take a moment here before we get into the Word, and I'm not going to hold you long today, I promise. But before we get into the Word, we want to take a moment and just identify the mothers. Hey, if you're in your car and you're a mom, honk your horn today. There you go. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being a part this morning. Um, we just want to honor the mothers. We got three flowers here we want to give away. And I just want to start with the youngest mom. Do we have a mom who is 25 or younger here today? 26 or younger? We have 26 or younger. Come on, mama. Come up here and get a flower. Yeah, Jessica Mays. Yeah, 26 years old. She's got three wonderful babies. Yeah, give honor and glory to God for her. Amen. We love Jessica. She's an awesome woman of God. Come and just pick a flower, whichever one you want. Hallelujah. Next, we want to go, and this isn't to embarrass you, but the oldest mom, the oldest mom, who would that be? Let's say, are you over 60? Are you over 65? Do I hear 70? Okay, I hear a 70. Do I hear 75? Okay, 75. How about 76? 77. Is there a 77? So 76 got it. Wait, wait. No, 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 I'm oh, you're celebrating. Okay, 76. Come and get it. Can you take that to her, Pastor Josh? Thank you. Hallelujah. Give her, give God honor and praise for our sister over here. 76 years old. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done for 76 years. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then the last one, we want to honor the mom with the most kids here today. So, if you're a mama and you got uh, three kids, let me hear from you. You got three kids? Okay. Four kids. Okay, that's common. Five kids. Oh, six kids. Six? Five? Five. We got two for five. All right. So... I tell you what, come Evelyn and get this one. Heather, I'll get you one later. Okay. Yes, I'm going to get you one later. Yes, give these moms honor and praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Love you, Sister Evelyn. Bless you. We're going to take care of Heather later. I'll make sure she gets one later today. Amen. Praise God. Hey, let's just honk our horns for all the moms again. Amen. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. You know, we sang a song just a little bit ago, and I want to encourage you that if you want to say amen, honk your horn. If you want to say hallelujah while we're preaching the word this morning, honk your horn. If you want to glorify God, just honk your horn today. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not going to disturb us. Yes, come on. Give glory and honor to God today. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father. Amen. Let's have fun with this thing. Amen. We're not supposed to be boring. We're supposed to have fun up here and give God glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope you don't mind me preaching in a cap today. I'm in a cap because I'm trying to keep the sun off of my face. That's the whole reason that I'm wearing this because I burn like that. So I'm trying to protect my face this morning so I don't I don't have a red nose by the end of the day. <laughs> so hallelujah. So praise God. We're out here in the open air and just having a great time. And today we want to say thank you to mom. God has spoken to my heart to say thank you to mom.
and we sang a song earlier we sang a song about about the blessing we sang a song about what God is doing to bless you how he has blessed you from generation to generation to generation how God has moved in your life and how he's done mighty things well I guess we're preaching something else this morning hallelujah so how he's done mighty things this morning and uh, in your life and made a way for you and his blessing is upon you if you flow and you walk with the Lord his blessing is upon you man you cannot not be blessed here in America amen you cannot not be blessed here on this beautiful day God has given us a lot and he's poured a lot into us and I want to say thank you to every mom that's out there. I want to say thank you to every woman who's out there because God has created you. God has called you. God has formed you in his fashion and in what he desired for you to be. And we cannot allow life to form us. We cannot allow situations to determine who we are. We've got to allow God to determine who we are. We've got to allow his word to determine who we are, how we think, and how we move forward in life. How we process the past, how we process the today, and how we process the tomorrow. We've got to allow God to continue to form us. See, the great thing is the word of God says that Jesus works in us, that God will work in us until the day of Christ Jesus, meaning until he returns or we go and be with him in glory. He is working on us. He is working in us and he is working through us. He is determining who we will be each and every day. All we have to do is choose him. All we have to do is live for him. I want to welcome all those who are watching on Facebook this morning. We want to say we love you guys. And we're thankful that you're here with us today. We appreciate and love each and every one of you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. If you'll go with me in your Bibles or your tablets or your phones to Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6, 1. And I'm not going to take long here, but we just want to say thank you, Mom. We want to say thank you, women of God. And in, in Ephesians 6.1, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Obey your parents in the Lord. It says in verse 2, Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and that you may live long on the earth. God gave us a promise if we honor our father and mother. And today we want to honor our mothers. We want to give God honor and praise for our mothers. We want to worship God and thank him for our mothers. We thank God for you. And we say thank you to each and every one of you. Over in Proverbs 31. In Proverbs 31 verses 28. It says for her children. Rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel above them all. I'm speaking over you this morning. I'm speaking over your life today. Hear the word of the Lord. You excel above them all. I didn't ask you how you felt. I didn't ask you what you thought about yourself. I didn't ask you what you would determine your life would be. I said, I am speaking to you the word of God over your life right now. That you excel above them all. It says in verse 30, charm is deceitful and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Do you fear the Lord this morning? Do you fear the Lord God this morning? See, the greatest thing that you can do for your children is to fear God and to teach them the ways of the Lord. As a mother, as a woman in the earth, the greatest thing that you can do for your family, for your neighbors, for society, is not to strive for your independence, but to teach them the ways of the Lord and to fear God. Independence is not wrong, but if we step outside of God, Righteous 
one in the earth. He hasn't called you to stop your feet and to get your way. He's called you to walk in the ways of the Lord and to fear God and to hear his voice and to teach the children the ways of the Lord so that it can continue from generation to generation to generation to generation. God has called us. So the greatest thing, ladies, you can do is to fear God and to teach the ways of the Lord in the earth. Go over to Deuteronomy with me. Deuteronomy 6, verse 4. I was going to start in 6, but I'm going to go back to 4. Deuteronomy 6, verse 4 says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. He is one God. The Lord our God. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. See, we quote that out of Matthew where Jesus quoted that, but Jesus was quoting it out of Deuteronomy. Jesus was speaking it out of the Old Testament because you got to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. We've got to love God with everything we are. As a woman, you've got to love God with everything you are. There can be nothing in front of God. There can be no pleasure. There can be no, no comfortability above or before God. There can be nothing. Your children cannot be before God. Your, your family, your husband cannot be before God. Your situation cannot be before God. You have got to put God first in your life. And when you put God first in your life, all these other things come into place in the proper order. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Put God first. Put God first today. Well, all righty then. I lost my place here. Deuteronomy 6. And in verse 6, he says, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in the house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. The word of the Lord in your life has got to be first and foremost. I want to ask you this morning, I've asked this many times, but I want to ask again, what has God spoken to you directly? What has he said to you personally? What has he spoken to you, to your heart, out of his word, or a prophetic word over your life? What has he spoken to you? Bind that to your heart and your hand. Put it before you. Put it between your eyes that you would always see it. Put it before your eyes that you would never forget what God has said about you. He said, I have created you. He said, I love you. He has said, I have formed and fashioned you in your mother's womb. And I have made you the woman you are. Do not be ashamed of who you are. Do not be ashamed of your past. Do not be ashamed of what you went through. But allow God to continue to make you and to form you into the woman of God. He has called you to be. You are a righteous one of Israel. You are a holy one that has been chosen. and in your heart because he loves you he cares for you he is with you his blessing is upon you guys I want you to get ready to sing that blessing song again just give me about two three minutes but get ready to sing that blessing song again see to fear God and teach his ways of the Lord you have to have a relationship with the Lord and today I want to introduce you to a God who created and loves women he created the woman so many times we say, God, you know, he created man first. Yeah, he did, but he also, we can't forget that he created a woman and he set her in the garden with the man and he said, you shall rule over this garden. He created the woman for a purpose. 
You see in Genesis, God created the woman and made them the vessel through which his plan would come forth. In Matthew and Luke, God's plan was fulfilled through a woman at the birth of Christ. At the well, Jesus transformed a woman's life. And through her testimony, a whole village came to know Christ. At the temple, Jesus stopped and he stepped and he looked into a situation where everything in the law said it was okay to condemn a woman found in adultery. But Jesus, are you with me this morning? But Jesus, but Jesus stepped in to that situation. Jesus stepped into your life, woman of God. Jesus stepped into your life, oh woman who can hear me in the sound of my voice. Jesus stepped into your life this morning. He stepped into your life and he said, I love you. I do not condemn you. Where are your accusers, oh woman? Where are the ones who would rail against you? Where are the ones who would seek to destroy you? Where are the ones who would seek to destroy and stone you? They are gone. Because I asked them one question. And I ask you this question today. He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. We all have things in our lives. We have no place to condemn. We have no place to rise up in pride. We have no place to think we're better than anybody else because we're not. We are the same as that person over there or that person over there. We are the same as that person back there or that person back there. God has created us all with one thing in mind, that we would worship and praise and give him honor and glory. God has created us to go beyond. So I want to ask you ladies this morning directly, are you a vessel? Are you a vessel that God can use and, th and that his plan will flow through you? Are you a vessel which God's plans will be fulfilled in? Are you one who has been transformed by the words and the love of Jesus Christ? And is your testimony one that your village would turn to Christ? Is your testimony one that your village, that your city, that your neighborhood, that your family that lives in your very home will turn to Christ? What is your testimony today? What is your testimony? Are you standing condemned today? Well, you know what I say? But Jesus. But Jesus. But Jesus in your life. There is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, I came not to destroy but to save. He is here for you. He loves you. No matter what you've experienced in your life or what you have done in your life, I want to tell you this morning, God loves each and every one of you. And he wants to restore you today. He wants to restore you today. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. See, one thing I love about moms and about how God has made a woman is God has made a woman to be a nurturer. He has made a woman to be one who loves. He has made a woman to be one who loves and expresses love. But through the hurts, through the disappointments, through the abuse of this world and the people taking advantage of you, you shut down that love and you shut down that heart and you shut down that compassion and you shut down that ability just like a woman with a, uh, like a chicken in her hands. One of our sisters who's here today, Sherry, she 
shared with me how her chickens, they have the little chicklets, and they she sits out her wings and puts them like this, and then she just kind of scoops in. Is that right, Sherry? And just kind of scoops in all them little chicklets, and she protects them from the weather. She protects them from the wind. She protects them from the night. Well, you know, God has called you to do that. Whether you're a mother or not, if you're a woman of God, God has called you and given you the ability to do that. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if you've had children naturally or not. It doesn't matter if you've had children or not in your life. What matters is that you allow the love of God to flow through you, the love of God to restore you, the love of God to be within you and to bring you to that place that you can put out your wings and you can gather in them little chicklets. You can gather in those who need you. You can gather in those who need the protection and you can put your arms around them and love them. I know some of you are hurting right now. I know some of you, your hearts are broken right now. And God, why has, Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. Jesus came to set the captives free. Today, I want to tell you the heart of the Lord for you today. This is the heart of the Lord. Hear me, please. Women, mothers alike hear me. This is the heart of the Lord for you. But men, it's not just for the women. This is for you too. The heart of the Lord is this. God wants to heal you today. God wants to heal you of your hurts, your disappointments, the abuses and the unfair things that have come to you. God wants to heal you today of those things that have broken you down and caused you to shrink back. Those things that have broken you down and those things that you look, you look out your window, you look out your door and you're afraid to go out there because of what has happened out there. You're afraid to climb out of your bed because of what has happened outside, what has happened in your home, what has happened to you. God wants to heal you today. He wants to set you free. See, we are not called to walk with burdens. We are not called to walk with a limp. We are not called to walk broken. We are called to be restored. There is a lie that goes through the church today. And that lie is, I can be broken in it and be okay. This is the part of that lie. God, we can't be broken because God didn't come to break us. He didn't come to leave us broken. He came to set us free. He came to heal us. He came to deliver us. He came to give us hope and to give us life. You do not have to be broken. You do not have to be broken if you don't want to. Father, Father, we love you. Will you guys come? Will you guys come? God wants to heal you today. Whether you are a mom who has carried a deep, deep burden or you've been hurt deeply by your mom. God wants to restore relationship today. He wants to heal you today. He wants to bless you. Guys, I want you just to sing that blessing just quietly. Sing it softly as you can. Hallelujah. I'm going to step down here. Yeah, I did a no-no. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry. And this is what I want to say to you today. That God has blessed you. God loves you. God wants to restore you today in any hurt, any brokenness that is within you. Give it over to God today. Right now in this moment as they're singing, in this time as God's blessing and his anointing is coming upon you, I feel the anointing of God for the deliverance and healing of your soul right now. I feel the anointing, I'm experiencing the anointing of God to break every yoke and to set every captive free today. Give it over to him. I'm telling you, wherever you are, just lift your hands. Lift your hands and give it over to him right now. Say, God. I give this situation, whatever it is, I give this hurt, I give this offense, I give this violation, I give this rape, I give this offense, I give this incest, I even give, Lord God.
God, the people who have taken advantage of me, the people who have used me, the people who have said, said that I could trust them and I couldn't. I give it over to you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, I lift up each and every woman in with the sound of my voice today. And I thank you that you are healing them. You are setting them free, that they will trust you, God. They don't have to trust man. They just need to trust you. They don't have to rely on man. They just need to rely on you. They need to be able to love and to gather those chicks again. And to, Father, lift out their wings so that the love of God can be expressed. I want you to know, women of God, God has ordained you. God has Father, I thank you for breaking every yoke of burden today. I thank you for breaking every yoke of burden today. In Jesus' name, I say to you, captive woman, be set free. I say to you, captive woman, be set free. In the name of Jesus, the living one and only true God, be set free today. Oh, woman of God, rise up, rise up, rise up. We need your part. We need you in the kingdom of God. We need you in the earth. Not vying for your independence, not demanding your way, but expressing the love of God, the purpose of God, and the hope of God in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. His faith upon you in a thousand generations your family and your children and their children and their children
Jesus loves you. We love you. Be restored today. Total restoration is yours. All you have to do is reach out for it right now and receive all that God has for you, no matter what you've been through, no matter what wrong has bestowed you, no matter what has happened to you, God is with you and he desires to restore you. Receive his restoration today. Rise up, O women of God. Rise up, O moms. Rise up, O ones who have been called to show the true love of God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for each and every one that is here. Thank you for them coming out today. Thank you, Lord God, for your restoration in our life. Thank you, Lord God, that we can praise and honor you. We can give you glory and we can worship your holy name together again together again. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for joining us here on Facebook. And later on, we'll have this on YouTube. Thank you for being with us today. We appreciate you. We love you. We're so thankful for you. What we're going to ask you to do when you leave here is you will pull out this way and go behind the gym and around the corner there and exit uh, there where David McGraw is and, and you will go that way and you will exit out the far way. Please don't go through the parking lot and please don't go out this way. We want to stay away from this, this traffic light out here and just safely leave. Okay, you can turn right or left out of there, whichever direction your home is. But we're going to ask you to go out that way. Also, we're going to have um, an offering basket right over here, an offering plate. If you want to give your tithes and offerings as you leave, there is going to be a, a, a plate, a, someone with a plate over there who will be holding it. And you can just drive by and drop it in there. There's not going to be any need for, for, for you know, sanitizer or anything. All you're going to do is drop it in. And, hey, the kingdom of God is still moving. The ministry of God is still going forth each and every day, each and every week here at Faith Chapel. Yesterday we fed over 55 families here through our food program. So we are doing the work of the Lord. We are touching lives each and every week and each and every day and each and every month here at Faith Chapel. I'm telling you, we are reaching people in Cambodia, in Africa, through Facebook. We are reaching people in Arkansas. New York and uh, New Jersey and, and, and Seattle, Washington, just all over California, just all over the nation. We're reaching people all over the world. I've been getting emails and, and, and uh, instant messages through Facebook from people all over the world. I want to say hi to, if you're watching, Brother Sambo. You know who I'm talking about. Bless you, brother. I've been praying for you. He's in Cambodia. He's a pastor in Cambodia. And we've just been praying for him. I want you to pray for him. They are struggling with this situation deeply there. As many people are here, as many people are throughout the world. Let's just lift up. I just want to take a moment and pray before you leave. Can we pray together for our nation, for those who are hurting throughout the earth and throughout the world? Father, I thank you. First of all, we come against this virus. The Lord rebuke you. We curse you at the root and we command you to dry up and dissipate and go from this earth. Father, I break every spoken word that it's going to get worse. And Father, we release the life of God into the earth right now. In Jesus' name, we trust you, God. In Jesus' name, you are our hope. You are our healer. You are our high tower. And we come to you right now. And Father, we thank you that in that hope and in that trust that you will begin to eradicate and eliminate this thing in the earth. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that as we walk this out, we walk it out in you. As we walk it out, Father, we walk according to your will, your plan, and your purpose in the earth. We give you honor and praise, and I thank you for safety and protection for all of your people. Safety and protection for those who are serving in the medical field. Safety and protection for those who are policemen and those who are, are firemen and those who are, are uh, civil servants, Lord God. Those who are in the military. Those who are serving this nation and the nations around the world. God, I thank you that you will just impact this earth 
I hope we are different than when this is all said and done, God. I hope we love more. I hope we praise you more. I hope we reach out more. I hope we touch our neighbor more. God, I hope we are different. But let the difference be in you, Father. Not be a negative difference, but a great difference of your righteousness, your love, and your peace in the earth. In Jesus' name, I release it. And I call it done. Hey, we want to thank you for coming again. Thank you for joining us on social media, whatever level or, or way that is. I want to thank everybody. Thank you, praise team, for being out here in the sun all morning with us without a ball cap on. So thank you. Thank you, those who have worked the parking lot and given direction and, and just helped us today. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ariella and Pastor Josh, for all the technical work that you've done. Thank you guys for being faithful, for being faithful to God and faithful in your tithes and offerings. We love you guys. Have a great day. Hey, have a great day.